the other thing that you do so well is you mix it up with people. You, your crowd work, you mixing it up with people is my favorite thing in is the world. so funny. And it's my favorite thing I, in the world. There's so often I see people that do it and it's like, well, that's okay. But it just feels like it's packing peanuts. It's just filler. It's not really getting us anything. Mm -hmm. You really go on the attack. It's not even an attack. It's a story yeah. that I see when I look at a person, I make up a whole thing. And yeah. it's so fun to explore that. My main thing when I'm doing crowd work is to make the person that I'm talking about laugh just as hard as everybody else in the right, room. Right. So I really do it with joy. I never want anyone to feel like they're feeling fucked up. But you know what? That's a lot like, you know, one of the greatest of all time at this, if not the greatest, was Don Rickles. That's what he achieved too. He would go in, he would be tearing into someone, but the person would could feel, dying. would be dying laughing and could feel his good intent. He, he would have been horrified if he thought that he really did hurt someone's feelings because oh he was a very Me sensitive too. person. Yes. And I think you're the same way. When I say attack, I mean the yeah, energy. I, I meant the energy mm -hmm. and intensity with which you go at it, which is full-throated. I'm going to go after this person right now, but do it in a way that there's a lot of love in it. It's which, so funny. And it's really funny. It's, it's And it's fun for me because I love making up shit. I love looking at the person and trying to figure out what's going on in their life and the, what I might think that's going on in their life. It be for me. The crowd work is for me. Like I'm doing the jokes for y'all. The crowd work is for me because I like to meet new people. I like to talk about people. I like to make people laugh at themselves. I really love making people laugh at themselves yeah. because... That is the best laugh ever because you will laugh at that even when no one's around. You'll go, that shit was funny what she said about me. God damn it. That's just, I'm going to use that myself. Like you'll use it yourself. Like there's nothing better than when people come back on my Instagram and be like, oh my God, I just got roasted by Leslie. Oh my God, I'm the so-and-so, so-and-so girl. I'm the. It's so fun. Yeah. I, I love shit like that. I remember David Spade came into a comedy store and I was just on stage just going just like from, ta from table to table just just going. And he was like, what the fuck? So the best way that I can describe how good I got at crowd work was Simply Marvelous. I don't know if you know Simply Marvelous. She was in a lot of black movies. I don't know Simply She's, Marvelous. Yeah, no. she was in one of the Friday movies as John Witherspoon's wife. That's okay. the only thing I can think of right now. But she was a fucking, like, she would go from table to table. She taught me a little bit. But J.B. Smooth gave me the best advice about crowd work. He says that, say, the first thing that comes to your mind, because it's usually from God, yeah. And I'm telling you, every time I've done that, it has destroyed the room, like destroyed the room. You know, it's crazy that you said that because I've a long time ago noticed if something pops into my head and I just say it, 99.9% .9 of the time it goes well. If I stop myself and think a little more. You fuck it up. I fuck it up. You fuck it up. Th let me tell you why. Because you have two head, you have two people in your head. You have the joke writer yeah. and then you have the performer. Yeah. Okay. The performer wants the performance to go right, but the joke writer wants you to do tell the joke. Always listen to the joke writer. Yeah. The performer don't know what the fuck they're doing. Yeah. The performer does what the joke writer does. It's just that it's I have a third person in there, yeah. the pervert. Yeah, well, <laughs> we all have that person. We have the third person. Well, they yeah, just he's sit, in there. He sits and I don't back know and this is a cry for help. He, he, he sits he back and watch all the other shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's, that's I'm, the watch, I'm watching the other two and like <laughs> yes. oh, this is great when they argue oh my god, oh my god. Me on. <laughs> I literally just did that the other day on stage there's this line that I've been using I like to use the real story I, yeah. whenever I'm doing a joke I like to tell the real story because usually the real story is hella funny but I thought of an alt to this line so while I'm telling the joke the joke writer and the performer is completely fighting in my head complete like yo say this line say this fucking line I'm telling you right now that's just gonna kill. Then the before it's like, no, that's not what happened. The real thing that happened is actually funny. But it's like, no, fuck this. This is funny. Right. This will make this joke bad. Just fucking do it. You never listen to me. Listen to me now. <laughs> Wait, and and that the joke writer won. I did the all fucking kill. Yeah. But then the performer standing on the side going, well, that's not the real story. So what's going to happen when I want to do the real story? <laughs> because that shit is funny too. So what the fuck? You know. Well, so the, the like, answer here is you're never completely happy. If you're going to work in comedy. I don't care how hard you kill, how you well things go. You will never think you're funny. You will always leave feeling a little conflicted, a little it could have gone differently. You know what? You are a very busy person, and I promised I would get you out of oh, here because you have a lot going damn, on. Damn, we've but, been talking that long. But you know what? Uh, yeah, we have. But uh, this has been a delight. Yes. I love you. You're fantastic. Thank you. You are welcome here anytime. Uh, if you ever want me to sneak by your apartment, uh, your apartment. No. Wow. Oh, I mean, he's offering himself to me. Your pod 
cash. You know, I do have a pool that's heated. Oh. oh. I like a heated yeah. pool. No, uh, your podcast, The Fuckery. I want to make sure I get the word out on The Fuckery. The fuckery yes. I could listen to you all day and I will. And I'm yes. so glad that you're going to do this. This is such be a fun. great format for you. It's so good. It's too. perfect for you. And people are going to laugh, but they're also going to be improved yes. by listening to you. Absolutely. It's so fun. It's the full, unfiltered version of me. Yeah. Well, I think. I think that's always you. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, finally. Has there ever been finally unfiltered. Oh, yeah. shit. All right, you take care, Leslie. Thank, Thank you so you much. Thank you so much, Coder. <laughs>